Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do my shoe video. And I have got them all out here. They're just like piled up everywhere. And I thought of all these different ways I could do them brand by brand, but I just brought them out here and we'll just go through them one if by one. If I miss a pair, just ask me about them and I'll tell you if they're comfortable, if I think they're worth it, because I can admit making a mistake, spending the money on something, believe me. And I have done that with a couple of pairs of these. Um, the first ones I am going to review and tell you about are these, and these are some awesome shoes, and they are the Juliet Black and White, and the brand is Alice and Olivia, and I love this box. It's so nice, and they come with a shoe bag and everything, and they were pretty expensive shoes. They were $2.45. But I remember I had gone to a Diane von Furstenberg trunk show at Monkey's and everything in the store was, I believe, it was either 20 or 25% off. So I did get them a little bit on sale and I just couldn't resist them. I have worn them one time and I liked them. They were comfortable, but worth, were they worth the money? Um, and that's hard to say. I guess they're worth the money. Will I wear them a lot? Probably not. Or I haven't yet, but you know, the summer's just really starting. I really haven't, until I get a good tan and really get the summer vibe going, I probably won't wear a lot of um, jean skirts and shorts. So maybe when I do that, I'll start wearing these more, but I do love them. And okay, the next really pair pretty. is a pair that I wore for the first time the other day, and they are the Gianni Beanie Rabbit Natural Multi. And it's these, and they are very very cute i did not really enjoy wearing these um for some reason and i have shoes that are way more closed in but for some reason these shoes made my feet feel kind of claustrophobic they were just i guess they were kind of tight they're very very padded and um so maybe next time i wear them they will you know just break in a little bit more and i'll enjoy them but they're so cute and as you will be able to tell, I, I love cork, and I think that has something to do with, you know, my mom, I was born in 70, and my mom was 19, so, you know, when I was growing up, my mom was, like I told you, pretty hip, and she wore, she wore a lot of high heels, I remember wearing a lot of wrap dresses and sundresses and stuff, and um, she had a lot of shoes with cork heels, I remember that, and um, so I think that might be, and I just love 70s style anyway, so... Um, but these are really, really, really comfortable. So if you do like these, they are very comfortable. They were just a little snug feeling, but they didn't rub anywhere or hurt or anything like that. Like there are some shoes that as soon as you put them on, you cannot even wear them because they hurt so bad. And these are these right here since I have them here. These are a beautiful pair of shoes that I have not worn. And a couple of you have asked me about them. And this is one of the reasons I want to... I'm really, I have not even started my bedroom. Um, I think it's um, Habitat for Humanity is coming to pick up my armoire and some other stuff that we have around the house. We give to them a lot. Matter of fact, when we were building, um, we gave them a lot of our extra supplies and stuff like that. And they were like on a three week wait. So they are coming to pick up my armoire and then my dresser is, is getting delivered the next day. And that is when I'm just going to, I want to do new bedding. And just totally redo my bedroom and when i do i loved all of your suggestions the most common one was probably the clear shoe boxes with the photo so that is an idea that i have and i might even do that not in my closet i might do it you know there's going to be a little bit of space between the dresser and between the wall right on my side of the bedroom that's not really visible when you first walk in the bedroom or when you first you know look in there so I might either stack up like clear shoe boxes or I might get a book, couple of bookshelves so that I can have them kind of sitting out, um, you know, like they do, like when you see celebrity closets and some people's closets on here. But, um, and then another question before I forget is a lot of people said, well, if I don't have a big closet, where do I put all my things? They're everywhere. My stuff is all over this house. It's my shoe, a lot of my shoes are in my extra bedroom, which is like a big giant closet mess right now because I have not had a chance to do anything in there. And Brooke has kind of settled in there a little bit. I've got a full length mirror 
and um, she's kind of made that like her little morning get ready station and um, I don't blame her because her room's upstairs and so she gets tired of going up and down the stairs but anyway um, so that room's a mess but that's okay because it's it's my room and it's no big deal so I have shoes over there I have shoes and clothes um, just out in my bedroom that won't fit in any drawers I have clothes in my closet I have clothes in Will's closet because he doesn't really use a closet as far as clothes he I have his stuff in a dresser drawer in a chest of drawers and um, I also have like all my blazers and sport coats and stuff I have them in a bottom little um, rack of John's closet so they're everywhere and when we built this house you know we came from a much smaller house and with one little closet and so the idea of us each having a closet just seemed like so much I mean we didn't even think about getting a much bigger closet and at the time Brooke was just a baby so we had you know just ample space for everything well you know as Brooke's gotten older and we had another child and things you know we've lived here I guess about 12 years now you can imagine it's filled up and I, t I tell John all the time when he just need to back a truck up to the door and let me get rid of stuff or get one of those big dumpsters that you like put out in the driveway <laughs> for a month or something and they My come pick it up everywhere. and I do need to clean out but I, when I get a chance I will maybe this summer when the kids are out of school so anyway where I was going with this is these are the snake patent leather gorgeous gorgeous Vince Camuto shoes. And you can you can tell I haven't worn them because the paper's all crisp. But they are just the most beautiful shoes you've ever seen. And I today I am going to leave these out and not even put them in a box. That is how I end up wearing my shoes, even more than just being in a clear box or anything. To me, if I would just kind of line them up and so I can see them, it almost like I could look at these shoes and be inspired to wear an outfit that goes with them. Whereas if I just get dressed and then I look for a pair of shoes, I'm not as I'm not as motivated to wear these. You know what I mean? So these just make me want to wear a pair of white jeans and a white tank top with my maybe my Lee Elena bracelet that this that's this color and um, some gold jewelry. But um, and I've been told that these are kind of a knockoff of the YSL tribute which I didn't know enough about that, but they are kind of. They but, um, do look these a lot are like these size eight and they're gorgeous. So I will be wearing these really soon, I promise, because my so next pretty. are Vince Camudos and these are some sexy, sexy shoes. And I bought these to wear to that fashion preview where I did the style tip for Oliver and I had ordered another pair that I'm getting ready to show you and they didn't come in in time. So I ran out and got these and John loves these shoes. And I've only worn them, I think, two, probably two or three times, but they're gorgeous. And they are, let's see, sorry, the um, Cairo, C-A-I-R-O, croissant. Croissant is probably the color, because I think they come in, no, it's the green ones come in black and white also. But these, to me, are just a gorgeous pair of shoes, and look at the studs. What I liked about these two is I love the studs, but they're not um, mean or angry looking studs. They're not, you know, sadistic looking. And um, I just love the color. And you can see I put one of those little foot pads in there because I knew I was gonna be standing on my feet that night. But a lot of times I'll take those out if it's just a normal day because they kind of get on my nerves. But, um, so love these, recommend them. This is love the pair of shoes that I had <laughs> ordered to wear that night and they didn't come in in time because I had accidentally put my P.O. box for Zappos and little side note, don't, don't do that because then they won't ship it um, overnight. They ship it just regular, I think USPS and it took forever. But they are the Stuart Weitzman Boldly and they are a beautiful nude shoe. I love them, very, very comfortable. I haven't worn them as much as I thought I would, um, but I think I will eventually. Like anytime I'm thinking of an outfit, and I think, gosh, I need some nude shoes. I keep, you know, the these only pop up. thing is, I wanted to tell you if you are not a fan of toes showing, these, for some reason, they cut up a little. See how they almost go in right there? I think they would have been a little more flattering if they went, I don't know, not as much up because I don't mind my toes showing, but they, they show a lot of toe. <laughs> like, um, 
that cartoon, this reminded me, that cartoon uh, Puss in Boots when she said, that's a lot of heel for a man. That's, these show a lot of toe. <laughs> so, um, but they are very comfortable and I just love Stuart Weitzman shoes. I mean, I don't, I don't think I've been disappointed in a pair yet. So, and they're just, they're a little bit expensive, but every pair I've gotten has been worth it. So that is okay, Speaking boldly. of Stuart Weitzman shoes, these are the Stuart Weitzman, um, ooh, let's see, I'll try to show them to you a little bit better. These are the Stuart Weitzman that I just showed you last week, and they are the Swamp, which is a funny name, isn't it? But um, they're just the best shoes ever, ever, ever. If you could just buy one pair of expensive shoes, which I, have, I do not have any Louboutins or anything like that, but I think these are the most fabulous shoes. And I do get my size eight, which is my regular size. Last year, I remember I had gotten the eight and a half because that's all they had and they did not fit my foot correctly because these shoes, you really need to be careful that the um, arch, see how the arch is, it's a pretty extreme, he, I don't know, it's a, I think it's a four inch heel, but for some reason, the arch on these is pretty severe. And what makes these different than the Nine West ones I had last year were pretty daggone close. I mean, they were great shoes. I wore them out. I wore them till I was embarrassed of what they looked like when they were all of, off of my foot. But the difference in these is the heel is a little bit prettier, the macrame type stuff. And these have a unique thing. And the lady or the girl that was buying the black ones, so I'm talking about the black ones too. So the black ones and these are exactly the same, same size. Um, when I was buying those, she told me that they make this strap at the toe a little bit more snug than you would think because it keeps your foot from sliding forward. You know, don't you hate that when your toes are like, it's like they didn't fit like that when you put them on, but you look down and all of a sudden your toes are like right to the end and they're just kind of ill-fitting. Well, I think that's the difference in a well-made shoe is they think of things like that. And so the toe is a little bit um, snug and I don't know if you can see where my little toe marks are, but it keeps your foot right at the right spot. And there is something about these shoes too that really tones your legs. I remember that happening last year. And the past couple of days, I wore these all day yesterday. I wore these and then I ended up switching to those yesterday afternoon. And um, my legs were sore, like I had done exercise. And I remember that happening last year. So there's something about these kind of like shape ups, <laughs> expensive shape ups, but they really do tone your legs. And um, these look so good with shorts, dresses, I mean, everything, especially like jean skirts or just everything. There's, you just can't go these wrong with these. These are not quite as exciting to me, <laughs> but I showed you these a couple weeks ago. I have worn them a couple of times. Wonderful, wonderful. If you are somebody that hates tennis shoes like I do, you would love these because they do not feel, they don't make your foot feel all claustrophobic and they don't have, usually when I put on tennis shoes, I cannot wait to take them off. I mean, as soon as I get in the house, I take them off. These aren't like that. They're very, very, very light and they're kind of, I don't know if you can see how sheer they are, if you can see my hands, but you can basically see through there. And both times that I have worn them, I wore them barefooted and it did not rub a you know blister on my heel or anything. The heel is very, I mean, look at how, it's almost like um, wetsuit material or something. It's real neat. It's just, you know, that's a good way to show you. <laughs> and um, I see they're called Nike Free, and I did get eight and a half in these, which fit perfectly, because everybody knows Nikes run about a half size small. So these I recommend. A lot of you said you had these, and um, I was so glad I got these, them These, I feel day. like, <laughs> These just go without saying, but I felt like they are shoes that I did get at the beginning of this season. And they are the Gianni Beanie Zippets. These are just the most fabulous shoes. I just can't say enough about them. At first, I mean, I liked them instantly, but when I first showed them to John, he was like, eh, I don't know about those. He wasn't crazy about them, but now but, um, he likes them these too. These go with everything and they are the shoe to have to wear with the high-waisted flare jeans because they don't they're real snug they don't hurt your feet or anything and um just the perfect back so they don't hurt your heel they don't flip you know they don't they're not like flippy shoes 
and okay, it these, is perfect. I can't. These are probably, I have not worn these, I think I've worn these two times, but I enjoyed every single second of it and love them. They are comfortable and oh, they are just, I love these shoes. They are just gorgeous. I wore them one day when I was getting my hair done. I think I had, what did I have on that day? I think I just had on some of the um, more slim cut, boot cut jeans. I think it was my current Elliott's. The, um, I don't know, one of those that just roll up one time at the bottom. And I can't remember what else I had on. I know my um, toes were painted pink at that time, which the Celtic sun will look even better with them. But I had the most compliments on these shoes. And I know it's probably because they're so eye-catching, but they're just fabulous. I mean, I love them. They are not the most comfortable. They weren't bad, but I would not get these and try to go to an outlet mall shopping or anything like that. I would just wear them when you know you're just going to be kind of, you know, shopping around or you're going out to dinner or it'd be great. Like if you're going out with friends or going to get your hair done or something, you know, when you want to look nice, but you're not having to stand up the whole time. The only thing that made them a little bit uncomfortable, I can't even remember what it was, if it was the toe. I think it's just because they're so... Um, you, you'll notice that there's not a lot holding your foot in there. And I think that might have been what it was, is that it kind of strains. I think that's exactly what it was. I think it kind of strained the my shins. You know, if you don't have a pair of shoes that will um, stay on really good, how your legs just get strained in a different way. I think that's what these did, but nothing that you couldn't get used to. <laughs> They're worth it. So I love these, and they are just like Barbie shoes, and I felt like a princess when I wore them, and I love them. So I do recommend these. And if you if the pink is not for you, they had a beautiful nude color, and I think white and maybe black too. And I can't remember how much they were. I think they were like 79 So I, th I thought they were priced really good because Gianni Beanie is, let me tell you the name of them, they're Heather and the color was primrose and i got size eight i wear an eight in gianni beanie and i just love his shoes most all of them i have been just more than satisfied okay, this is with. another pair of the stuart weitzman shoes and these i have only worn one time they are the high speed tan nubuck and i got size eight and i love these and i will be wearing these a lot um, they are just, they look so good on because the way your foot shows through there, you can see that your toe, where your toe comes. <laughs> and um, these actually do untie. So you can, you know, tie them up tighter if you need to, but they do zip in the back. So you don't have to keep on doing that, but they're just beautiful. And what makes them different is of course the lace up and um, the heel is just really pretty. It's a nice stacked wood heel and um, they look really good with like cargo. I was inspired to get these by a photo that I saw of Kim Kardashian. When I was looking at the J brand Houlihan jeans, I saw her wearing a pair of shoes. They, they might not have been this, I can't remember, but they were like a lace up pair of shoes and I really liked them. So that's, and then I ended up seeing them at Piper Lime or somewhere, wherever I ended up getting them. And um, so I love these and I think they're worth it, but it wouldn't be my first pair. I would get the other, the okay, wedge ones pair first. next is my first of this brand, and it is Rebecca Taylor, and they sell this brand at Oliver, and she makes clothes mostly. Really nice. I've gone to a trunk show, and I don't think I ended up getting anything because I think most of it is a little dressy for me, but these are another pair. You can see I like the cork. Another pair of the cork sandals, very comfortable. And these have a little bit of a lower heel. I think these are just a three inch heel. And so I have not worn these that much, but I think these are gonna be perfect to wear with shorts. Because a lot of times when you're wearing shorts, and I don't wear short shorts, I mean just regular shorts. Um, I, I do like, I can't say I don't like wearing a high high heel because I do, but a lot of times I feel better in certain situations, not having on a really high heel with a short skirt or something on. You know what I mean? So these are perfect and they're just, they're beautiful little shoes and they're very comfortable. And um, I can't remember how much they were. They weren't cheap. Oh, here they are. They were $2.25. And I did get, um, was it the Terry sandal? And I did get size eight and they fit perfectly. And I love, that's one thing when you guys talk about taking my shoes and putting them in clear boxes, it 
I don't know. I love my boxes. I love nice shoe boxes. So I don't know. I would hate to get rid of those, but some of my best ones for last. <laughs> uh, these are the Jessica Simpson, and you guys probably remember me getting these, and they are just a good basic nude pump. They were comfortable, would probably not be the word to use, but bearable. And for a shoe like this, bearable is pretty good. And um, I did put a toe pad in there. But after I put it in there, I thought, you know, these might have been more comfortable without that because I really didn't give them a chance on their own. And I think that kind of squinched up my toes and stuff. So next time, I may just take the pads out and just take them with me and I'm trying without the toe pads. But these are just good to have because like I think I wore them that day with those floral jeans and it was perfect because they're good to wear when you don't want to compete with something else. But they're the perfect color, perfect color for me and I love that they were patent. I love that they had a, a good normal heel and I really liked that they're not platform and they're, they've just got a pretty little toe just good basic little shoes and they're um, rubbery. They're not real bendy, but they are rubbery. They're not too hard. So they're kind of, I guess that absorbs okay, shock. Okay, <laughs> this is the last pair that I'm gonna show you. And like I said, if I didn't, if I skipped a pair, sorry, put it off my head. If I skipped a pair and didn't tell you about a pair that I've gotten and you're curious, just ask me and I will let you know. But um, it says, please do not place shipping labels on this box. Footwear returns, okay. <laughs> anyway, I just saw that. But these are the Sam Edelman, and I love this box because you know that I love the lime green. These are the ones that I just showed you the other day, and they are the GG Sandal. I love these shoes so much. I totally understand why they're popular, and I totally understand why people get so many colors. I can wear these all day. I wore them the other day. I've worn them probably probably three or four times already and I'm gonna wear them today I can wear these all day and normally when I come home I take off whatever you know take off whatever I've got on and put on my comfy usually unless I've got on something comfy like last yesterday I wore that outfit all day but a lot of times if I'm dressed up I'll take off my outfit put on my comfy clothes and put on my Javiana flip-flops well the other day I had on just a little t-shirt I had on those same jeans that I had bought off of eBay I believe they were seven like flare jeans but they weren't too long you could wear them with flats and I had these on and I before I noticed it I had worn these all day I didn't switch into my flip-flops so that meant I what day was that I think it was Monday I think it was when I cooked lasagna and I think I remembered you know I remember going out to the garage to get something out of the refrigerator out there and realizing I had, still had these on and I had been wearing them all day and I just loved them and another thing I love about them is I'm kind of funny about, as you can probably tell, I'm kind of funny about where my toes hit on sandals. Like um, there's certain things like rainbow flip-flops. I love rainbow flip-flops. Here where I live, that is everybody, everybody has a pair of rainbow flip-flops. And when I grew up, everybody had them and you wore them till they wore out. And I don't like the way they fit because rainbow flip-flops leave a lot of space up here. I like my toes to kind of fill up the space of a shoe. That's why I like Javianas versus um, the Rainbows or even the Reefs or something. And I kind of like my shoe, my foot to be kind of loose. This fits both of those. Your toes come right to the edge of the shoe and it just fits perfectly and your foot isn't closed in. So, I mean, it isn't like wobbling around or anything, but it just feels like you have nothing on. And they're very, very comfortable. And I probably said enough about these, but I will be getting more of these. And the cork, I love. They're perfect, they go with everything. I mean, they would go with black, everything. So this will be a good color for you to start off with. And they have a bunch of cool combinations. And I think even on Zappos, I saw a chartreuse, which is that, you know, color like on my toes. So I might get that too, just for fun. But love these and recommend them. And I think they're about $65. Okay, so today I have on um, that new maxi dress that I showed you guys the other day. It is the one from um, Soft, Joie, I believe is how you pronounce it. And I love it. I love this little part right here because you can see it really kind of helps all that. And um, the shoes I have on today are the ones I just showed you, the Gigi. 
And so you can see they look perfect with a maxi dress. For accessories today, I just have on these little earrings that I got years ago at Target, but they come in handy because they're the brushed gold and they're just not too big. Um, oop, my catch is showing. But I have the new Dean Davidson little um, locket. It's not really a locket, but that's what I think of when I see it. It's like a teardrop and I love it. It makes that little jingly sound. And um, I love the weight of it. It keeps it, you know, right on my chest. and <laughs> keeps it, you know, in the center. And I've, I think I'm just totally Dean Davidson out today. I have on his castle ring in the dark blue. And then I have on the bracelet that he sent me, the nice cuff. And it's the best. I love it. And my fossil aluminum watch in champagne. And my nail polish is still, and I'm noticing my hair is like crazy. Um, the nail polish is from yesterday, and it is that, is it Ciate? I think that's how you guys told me to pronounce it. The paint pots in oil slick. And the fragrance I have on today is Bond Number no. 9. I love New York, and I just love right. that one. And I will see so you probably on Friday. So y'all have a good day, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.